Hey guys, welcome to another video of Truth Behind MIUI Updates. Now this particular series is very very special and if you are a Poco F3, Mi 11X or a Redmi K40 user, this is the first episode for you and probably you're watching this for the first time. So I'll give you the introduction of how this works. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going All right, so once again, truth behind MIUI updates. Now this series started with the Poco F1, went on with the K20 Pro. It's coming to an end for the K20 Pro. Continued with the Poco X3 Pro. We've got one episode for this. So the second episode is coming soon. And now we are starting with this wonderful device called the Mi 11X, Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. Now what do we do in this particular series is we will downgrade the phone to the first ever software with which it released. No mods, no custom kernels, nothing. Absolute clean flash of fast boot for the first ever version of ROM with which this particular device released. With that particular update, I'm gonna use, you know, I have used this device for two days. I will share my experience and I will share my benchmark numbers and then second, third, fourth episode onwards, as in when this device continues getting updates, we will compare the benchmark numbers to find out which is the best MIUI version for this device. If you, you know, are on an unlocked bootloader and prefer bone stock MIUI, this can give you an answer. At the same time, we will find if Xiaomi is the culprit. Are they really slowing down devices or not? So with all that said, let's begin with this episode one, right? So what do we have here? First things first, let's go to settings over here and let's go to about. Now you do see that Xiaomi is telling me to update. No, I don't want to update as yet. So let's go to all specifications over here. Right now you do see that the MIUI version is 12.0.3 global. This is the Indian version of the ROM. Okay, the security patch is the 1st of February 2021. This is the model number. This is the kernel version. So this is absolutely the first ever version of software with which this device launched in India. Now first, let me share my initial impressions. Of course, from the time this device launched, it does come with the Google dialer and Google messages. So nothing to say there. But if you look at the animations, yeah, the app icon animations are there. They are pretty subtle, but initially to be very, very honest, when I got this device, I found this device to be relatively fast. I'm not saying it has gotten slow because remember we have recently tried the latest MI year 12.5 global European China and I have also tried the enhanced edition. So this definitely gives me a clear hint on top of that. This is my personal device. So I'll tell you this when this device had come out, we are running 120 Hertz, by the way, it was really, really fluid, really, really smooth. Things were working as expected. There were some bugs, some issues here and there. But as you can see now, I have been using this as my personal phone for a while now. So if you go to settings and if you go to battery life over here real quick, there you go. Battery usage stats. Okay. 18 hours and 44 minutes, three hours and three minutes of screen on time. Cell standby, phone idle. I've had about, I don't know, one hour and eight minutes of calls. So, you know, the battery life on this particular phone for me on the stock ROM has been not that great, if you will. Yeah, it has been a you know kind of less maybe on custom roms it's better so you know user interface wise this rom was pretty smooth pretty snappy pretty pretty quick i did not notice any you know major bugs now there is one major bug i would like to address over here and i would want your help on that if you have the same bug as well you see this over here voice over wi-fi now the sim card that i use in this particular device is the geo sim card and i'm using voice over wi-fi i'm having a a lot of issues with voice over Wi-Fi most of the time I'm not able to hear the person who's calling me or if I make a call using voice over Wi-Fi I 
face connectivity issues the moment i turn wi-fi off the calling works absolutely fine now you would tell me that is a software issue well trust me each miui based rom on this particular device have definitely had a lot of problems i'm at on the verge of reporting it to xiaomi and taking it to a service center i'm not really sure let me know in the comment section if you are facing this issue or not but apart from that if you talk about the camera application over here the performance has been pretty decent all the features are working as expected of course the camera clarity or the camera you know features and stuff are not that great compared to some other flagships like if you compare when the redmi k20 pro had come out for the price of 25 to 30 thousand that device had amazing camera quality front or back it was just amazing this sort of disappointed me over there and apart from this scrolling through apps scrolling through settings the features using gestures using buttons everything has been absolutely fine for me i've not really really had any issues at all now let's quickly have a look at the benchmark numbers we're going to look at cpu throttle test we're going to look at geekbench single core multi-core and we are going to look at antutu benchmark so first let's talk about the cpu throttle test all right so as you can see over here cpu throttle to 95 percent of its max performance average score 258,614 gips now there is something cooking over here I'll tell you this, I'll definitely tell you this because if you're going to benchmark the latest Indian 12.5.2 in 28 to 30 degrees of weather, you are not going to get an average score of 258,000. Trust me, you are not going to. I, you know, have a habit of keeping the phone switched off for 15 minutes or on flight mode to make sure it cools down and then running another benchmark. And consistently, I have got this benchmark in the 15 minute test. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with the throttle test because it almost didn't throttle. Now let's have a look at Geekbench over here. There we go. So let's go to Geekbench and let's go to the historical score. Another thing to mention over here, we are using a game turbo. Now the single core is 613 and the multi core is 2645. This is less. This is not a good score when it comes to a 870 because I've seen the 855 on a custom ROM outperform this particular score. Moving on, let's talk about Antutu Benchmark, a benchmark which easily detects which chipset it has and even company softwares detect which benchmark is running and yeah, I mean 700,000 would have been good but 671, 871. So Antutu never disappoints on MIUI. I, I sort of feel like laughing at this point but Geekbench score was low, Antutu score is like more or less where the 870 score should be and the cpu throttle test was amazing at the same time i did mention that overall in this particular update i did not have any issues apart from the battery backup and wi-fi calling might be specific just to my device so all in all 12.0.3 update has been pretty pretty amazing and you know the gaming has been working fine i've also tried 90 fps i might even do a gaming test on this particular update you don't really know so let me know in the comment section what was your experience when you got the mi 11x and you were on 12.0.3 and after getting 12.5 or whatever update you're running right now has your phone slowed down has your phone started having issues has your phone started having good things or bad things because that is what truth behind miui updates is all about let me know in the comment section are you excited for episode number two or not until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye